It is that time. What's going on, guys? It's me, Westtown HD. Today, guys, we're doing a follow-up Super Smash Bros. discussion to the first Smash Bros. discussion we did on the channel a while back, if you remember. Joining me today, we have Mr. Rico Suave himself, new type. It's me, your boy, Rico Suave, new type. <laughs> hey, let's get it. And joining us for the first time on the channel, we have our boy Photon Belize. What? Shaking bacon? I'm sorry, I won't say that. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Dang it, <fuck. laughs> And then we have we have the Hokage. We have the guy who's going to find the One Piece Super Saiyan God. We got souls. Soul! Is that, here. that took way too long to build up to. <laughs> Either way, jumping right into it, guys. What was your initial impressions when you saw the game? Well, we all knew it was coming. <laughs> we all jumped at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the Smash Bros made me die? If that's initial impressions. <laughs> okay, all right. My man Photon went to yeah, the underworld for a minute. Yeah, I had to bust out my Dragon Ball to back. back. I'm busting my Dragon Ball. <laughs> I, 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 I creamed a little. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, that reminds me of watching Etika's reaction. That man broke a few fingers and a desk. I don't, I don't know how he's still alive. <laughs> that man Etika, rest in peace. Well, all that Twitch money you just afforded. I'm pro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> But uh, what was the most shocking announcement for you guys? Me personally, when I saw Ridley in the game, I was like, "This, this can't be." A th I feel like Ridley coming to this game was more shocking than Pichu, Young Link, and the whole cast coming back. I just felt like Ridley was actually cemented as a boss character, and they were gonna bring back Pyrosphere and him as a boss. But now that yeah. I wonder if that, I wonder if they bring back Pyrosphere, you can have Ridley fight Ridley. Honestly, the most shocking thing for me was fucking snake coming back oh yeah because like kojima and like because i was not expecting him to come back at yeah. all yeah I, you know at first for me it was like everybody returning to ice climbers but then when they showed ridley oh i just lost it what are you oh uh, yeah uh ridley pretty much because you know we had in smash 4 ridley was a boss and in smash bros brawl he was a boss and after all the complaining from the ridley fans uh, Sakurai, you know, in an interview, I believe it was, he said that, you know, he basically essentially said that Ridley's too big, we can't make him a fire, I'm sorry. And oh, so, crap. The fact, so the fact that he, so the fact that Ridley's in Smash, is kind of surprising, and it's kind of funny, because, like, I think they mentioned in Treehouse, Sakurai was like, we punt, we punt Ridley in Smash for the fans, and, and basically how I translated that as, we punt really in the game so people could shut up. <laughs> basically. <laughs> so, like, so, like, uh, so, but, like, just, you know, getting back to the topic, uh, like, the most shocking reveal is just the fact that Ridley was in the game and that he, you know, wasn't too big, although I kind of don't agree still, but, you know, he looks okay. <laughs> I mean, I think for what the size of Ridley is, I feel like what they did was, like, a good in-between. Yeah, I mean, like, let's keep in mind, like, the fact, well, I, I, and I thought it weird, like, you know, they made Ridley, like, super big in, like, the CGI, and then they, they make him, like, super small in the footage. Well, if you go back to the <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Melee intro, he, uh, he looked, like, around the same size as Samus. But, like, yeah, you mind, Ridley's got, like, multiple forms. Like, just like Bowser, because Bowser has gone skyscraper size. Like, a Giga Bowser in this game. Giga Bowser is, like, huge. I mean, I'm sure if Ridley oh, ate a mushroom, he probably would. Oh, like, jeez. About right. <laughs> Ridley on Giant Smash with a mushroom? Oh, no. <laughs> it's curtains. Um, but, like, uh, I'll get, I'll get more into this probably later, but, like, the reveal of Ridley ruined one of my most wanted, who, one of my most wanted characters in Smash is, but we'll check that later. Goku? No, no. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's still Ridley, but it's a different Ridley than the one we got. Um, uh, all right, all right. So I, 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 I still get like, I still like, I, I understand that like, you know, in the end, in Smash Bros, all the characters are basically trophies, so it makes sense for Ridley to be small, I guess. You know what I thought they were going to do? Like, make Ridley lay an egg or something? <laughs> It'd be like baby Ridley. Oh my gosh, it's a joke like, character? It'd be, small. It'd be Spyro? Yo, imagine if Spyro came out of that egg. Yo, what if Spyro's an echo fighter of, uh, oh, of Ridley? Of, uh, Ridley. Yo, what, if Yoshi, <laughs> what if Yoshi ate Ridley, so and then when it, the, in the egg popped out, it was like Spyro? Oh, whoa. <laughs> what, if it, what if it was Yoshi? You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Snickers satisfies. Anyway, moving on to our next topic, echo fighters. So, what do you guys think of echo fighters? Are there any echo fighters you want? A few echo fighters I've seen surfacing around the web would be like Impa over Sheik, Dark Samus over Samus, Ken over Ryu. My personal favorite, Shadow the Hedgehog over Sonic. Worth noting that he was taken out as an assist trophy, so the groundwork is there. Please, Nintendo, 
<laughs> and another one, Funky Kong. I need Funky Kong in this game as a Donkey Kong character. Please, Nintendo. And, like, Miss Pac-Man. But what do you guys think for Echo Fighters? Uh, mm. I think Shadow is a pretty good contender, contender for you, Echo Fighter. Although I'm, I'm trying to think of any other characters that I actually want that could be considered an Echo. I mean, up until, like... I mean, there are all those memes going around that every Fire Emblem character is just an Echo Fighter of Marth, but, uh... Roy definitely isn't. Not anymore. Roy started out as an Echo Fighter for Marth. Oh yeah, in Melee, like, yeah. He probably... Then Lucina stole his position. <laughs> I was gonna say Silver, but I guess he'd be a little weird. I, just like one I think I'd just be, like, a, yeah. just, like an entirely new character. <laughs> yeah. Because he has, like, the whole telekinesis going on. Yeah. Hmm. It's a hard question. <laughs> um, I'm like, uh, I'm like, what? Blake out here with the heavy hitters. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the Echo Fighters are kind of you know it's kind of cool that they give them like an official name you know they're no longer clones you know they got their own kind of name which they're basically still clones just different name but I mean Ooh, they, make, uh, they make them they make them sound better than they are. You're not um, wrong. Yeah. I, they, I know they literally just um, gave a name. For their <laughs> um, but uh, as for Echo Fighters, I'd like to see um, I'd like to see Malos over Shulk. Oh, uh, um, I mean I guess it's not an Echo, but Breath of the Wild. Zelda. <laughs> they already said that they wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, but then they, 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 they have phones like, on. This, they, say it's, they said that Zelda in Breath of the Wild is like more researcher than a fighter, hence why they made her design based off of A Link Between Worlds. Okay. Can we get Waddle D Echo Fighter for like a uh, Metal Knight? A Metal Knight? Okay. Can okay. we get Waluigi over Luigi? Oh, wait. Oh, too oh. soon. Too <laughs> soon. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised they didn't make Dr. Mario at Echo Fighter. Well, I mean, because they changed his moveset now. He's not a clone of Mario anymore. He's uh, He plays more like uh, Melee Mario now. Me like uh, This this Mario plays like a uh, Smash 4 Mario, mm -hmm. where he's got the Flood, he's got the Cape, he's got the Side Smash, what have you. And uh, this Dr. Mario, his down air has been completely reworked. It's now a Spike. He does like a Stomp. His down B is now the Twirl. His up B doesn't carry him nearly as far, so his recovery is still kind of limited. And uh, his cape isn't as as long, but has more reflective capabilities. If that makes sense. Uh, I know they I know they modded it. They haven't done a. I'd like to see Mirror yeah. Mario from Sunshine. Oh, yeah, what right? if? They, and I know they made this a skin for Meta Knight, but what if they did Galactic Knight over? Uh, I don't know if there's enough like fan base for him. They could do Donkey Kong Jr. over Diddy Kong, maybe. Oh, that could work. Or Dixie Kong. Captain Rainbow over Captain Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I got an idea, maybe. Oh, Blood Falcon? Okay, maybe this wouldn't work, but uh, Chibi Robo over Rob. Nah, that wouldn't work. They don't even have the same report. Yeah, they fight too different anyway. I don't know who you got, Blake, since you came with the question. <laughs> well, I got you know, what if we, yo, what if, what if we get a uh, live action Bowser over Bowser from the Mario movie? Oh, <laughs> see, actually, actually, How about, nah. ignoring what Photon just said, going on about <laughs> Bowser, I think a good Echo Fighter for Bowser could be Dry Bowser. Make, Ooh, it, that make cool. him play like the original Bowser from Melee, because now they reworked Bowser severely in Smash 4, like with the feet and like all his movesets, the side B is now like a throw, whatnot. Like make him play like he did in Melee, but make him Dry Bowser, because if you go back and you look through Mario's past games, like Dry Bowser is actually appearing more and more throughout Mario Kart and Mario Party games. So I think Dry Bowser could be, if not a skin, could be an interesting Echo Fighter. Wait, um, I have an idea. Uh, we can get Akuma for Ryu. Oh, that would be dope. Or Ken. And the only, the only di main difference between them is that Akuma has like his uh his finisher from the Street Fighter series for his uh Smash. Yeah, that'd be cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, because yeah, the Echo Fighters they do change the final Smash because I, I I guess Dark Pit will still have the Dark Pit stuff. You know, shooting. Yo, Liquid Snake and finish. Solid Snake. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, okay, Yo, Big so, Boss. Um, the I hope we get. Yeah, I'd love to see like Old Snake from Metal Gear Solid Four or like Big Boss as like over Snake. That'd be kind of cool. Um, one thing I'd like to see would be Medusa over Palatina. Or how about uh, yeah. Giano for Bayonetta? Who? John. <laughs> oh, you, I, you said Giano, and I was like, bro? Nah, <laughs> John, John could work. I, I'd be down for John. Zach over Cloud. Do oh, we, yeah, that would be dope. Oh, realistically, do you guys think we're cool. ever going to see another Final Fantasy character or what have you with anything in Smash Bros? I'm hoping for the Black Mage. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. I know you. Black Mage oh, would be cool, like, but like I'm, I'm trying to think of like a specific like Nintendo like 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 a like a Final Fantasy game that was like specifically on Nintendo that sold like really well. But I'm not Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> that, that's kind of relevant. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no offense, people that like the game, but that's kind of um. Uh, You're a Final Fantasy game. 
I don't think so. But, um, I wouldn't mind Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight would be... Well, Dra Dragon Knight, who would they pair off with Dragon Knight? Because Charizard's not his own character anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. They could do, like, Johto starters or something, maybe. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be down for it. Yeah, I would like that, actually. If they did, like... Who would be, how would they... How, who would be the first... Well, yeah, then again, because be a, Charizard a, flies, Typhlosion can't fly, none of the Johto starters can fly. He can't oh. be thinks hard enough. Fuck it, wreck on it, Typhlosion flies now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For alligator fly. Is, is, there, is, there a, is there a fire star that flies like Charizard? Blaziken? Blaziken, uh, I think? Blaziken, no, and he glides. Fly. And Pokemon, this man, good. this man will... This okay, man. we'll make him air walk. Like in one piece. <laughs> All right, so going into the new Smash Bros. Yeah. game, do you guys think that it looks too similar to Smash 4 to be its own thing, but like the changes they have made, do you think those are good changes, what have you? Personally speaking, well, I think the shader engine definitely makes it look like a standalone game. I mean, of course, the assets are gonna be borrowed, and because the Wii U generation wasn't that wasn't too long ago, it's not like it's gonna be a completely new engine built from the ground up. So I think what they did is definitely, it looks fresh enough, what they did with the, uh, the shaders, the the new effect to every character is more is more expressive and they emote more. I think that's actually a really good change to the game. What do you guys think? Overall, uh, it doesn't really feel the same way. It looks, it feels the same, but changed enough where it feels new. I, feel I like... think. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say. I think it's one of those cases where if you get it in hand, you'll it'll like literally feel different. But like to I guess the untrained eye, it looked the same for the most the part. Untrained eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely can see the differences. The uh, like you said, the they the emote more in battle. The, the um, attack animations look a lot different. Um, some of the mechanics are different, like how every character now makes like a special effect when they do like a you know critical hit. I think even the um, textures for some of the characters are different or new. I think I think at Smash Ultimate it. It re like if you know if you blow it up on a big TV or something like at a tournament or something, it's gonna look um, like really good compared to like Smash Four. And I think overall the game like Smash Four already like looked HD, so like they can't really go much farther beyond that without it's going to like. It's funny like, because if if you Stop. look if you do like look at some of the comparisons, like if like when Sakurai showed like Wii Fit Wii Fit Trainer's face in Smash Four versus this game, yeah. it's like oh my gosh, Smash Four looks yeah. hideous. Like I never even noticed like, that type of stuff. But they brought it up. Like when it comes to Smash, like they can't really go like too terribly much farther with like the graphics without going to like different art styles and things. But um, yeah, but like with, with Smash Ultimate, I like how it's like it seems to be like a combination of Smash Four, like like an HD Smash Four and like Brawl in a way. Like it seems to have like a, a little bit realistic look to it with Mario and stuff. Um, but I think the game that I think the the, the thing that really makes Smash Ultimate stand out for Smash Four is the particle effects because they look very Breath of the Wild ish. Like, they do. Look, like very, yeah. Like the smoke. Like shaded. And all that. Kind of cartoony almost. Yeah. So I think that's what makes it stand out. All right. Was there anything in the footage though that you guys like was just like this is a bad addition? Other than Bayonetta, of course, people are gonna complain about that. But <laughs> was there anything in the footage that you guys found disappointing to an extent, or was everything you know, pretty balanced? I am gonna be disappointed with ink hook grab anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've never liked his hook shot grab. I mean, I like how iconic it is, but I feel like him not having tether grab anymore is gonna do wonders for combos. Yeah, I mean, but it's also bad for him, like for like recovery. Okay, Souls, I'm a level with you. How often do you use that hook shot to recover? Because I know I've never used that hook shot to recover. <laughs> <laughs> I actually use it quite a bit. Sometimes you're kind of too far. No, no, actually, sometimes you kind of need that to like get back to the ledge without getting too close. Oh, I guess so. But you have to keep in mind that with the new system they had, like with the wave landing or the wave dashing they have now to where you can shift over to the stage a lot faster now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Little Mac can actually, like if you look at some of the footage, Little Mac is actually kind of viable now and it's horrific. Problems I have, honestly, not a lot. I mean, there wasn't really anything that I could find an issue with. Everything um, I was satisfied with. I mean, Bayonetta? <laughs> <laughs> That's everyone. I mean, like, Inkling like, looks fucking broken. Like, Inkling looks like, oh. You know for you know for a fact when Sakurai at the uh, invitation was like, I gotta go fix a few bugs. He was uh, looking at yeah. Bayonetta. He was looking at that <laughs> zero to death. See, I feel like though the zero to death thing on Ridley was meant to happen because where these hitboxes is huge because in Smash 4, she can still zero to death like Charizard, but if you're like Fox, like you're ninja, like a fast faller, then you shouldn't have a harder time doing it. So I don't know if, if big hitboxes <laughs> are safe or not. Do y'all remember the Smash <laughs> just completely destroyed that guy with Bayonetta? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you mean uh, when the bayonet destroyed the Riddler? Yeah. Yeah, no, he went off the stage and like, oh, that man was, li he literally, the only reason he lost oh, one so stock mad. is because he went off the stage to take out that Riddler. He got two stock though. <laughs> oh, it was, that was rough to watch. That was hard to watch. What are you in type? Anything in this footage that you found disappointing? Nah. Alright, that makes life easier. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any unconfirmed stages you guys want in? Looking at this list now that Photon provided in the Discord chat, looking at the confirmed stages, there's a lot, but there's also a few that haven't been confirmed. I mean, I would I would say it's not too far-fetched to think that they're going to bring over every single stage, but at the same time, I could understand why they wouldn't, because I guess some of them maybe wouldn't need to come back. Like, for example, Rainbow Cruise from Melee, no one's going to cry if that's not back. Icicle Mountain? I'm going to cry. Icicle Mountain, why? Um, Pokey Floats actually needs to come back, though. That needs to be a thing. Pokey Floats need. needs to come back, or I'm going to shoot somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I, mean, I, don't think, these... <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I literally don't think anyone's going to be heartbroken if Hand and Bow is gone. Um, I think, like... I think they're gonna some of these unconfirmed stages. They're gonna come back, but I think some of these stages. I think I think eventually all these stages are gonna come back, but they're gonna leave some of them like DLC. Oh yeah, you're right. Hey, Gavino Blaz is um, but, but specifically, I want to see a Pokey Floats, Paper Mario, Pirate Ship, and Fountain okay. Dreams come back. I don't think the original uh, Star Fox 64 stage is gonna come back because we already have the Corneria one from. See, that's yeah, very that's true, true, but if you also play that stage on 64, that stage is actually Yo. like an 8 player Yo, echo smash. Stages? So, oh, echo, echo stages? Echo stages, stop it. Echo stages <laughs> stop confirmed. It. Stop. Oh my gosh. Now, but going back to that, Sector Z in 64, that stage was actually really huge, and it was actually, I want to say, three times the size of Corneria. So, I mean, it could be like an 8, like, what if they did Corneria, but, like, that's the 8 player smash variant. But bigger. But bigger. <laughs> Fountain of, and batter. Fountain of Dreams, uh, I think everyone can unanimously agree Fountain of Dreams has been absent too long, and with the new shaders and stuff they're doing with this game, Fountain of Dreams would look beautiful. Ooh, fantastic. That is I, would to, I would really love Fountain of Dreams back. Also, I want the original Donkey Kong stage from 64 to come back, since that was kind of a favorite of mine. Congo Jungle? Yeah. That was, that was in Smash they, 4. Also, they should bring it? back. Yeah, it was. Well, they should bring that back anyway. I hate that stage, <laughs> but anyway. Also, also, they should bring back Peach's Castle. Because I mean, they already did like, those. Such, no, like the, the oh, the sixty-four. Like, yeah, is the high I'm gonna stage say it was just, I'm gonna it say was just such a, it's such a terrible stage. I want them to bring it back. <laughs> well, it was also in Smash Four, so I don't I see know, why they would bring like, it back. I want them to bring, oh, it, bring back it back anyway. <laughs> is I, want, the I, want, I want to do eight yeah, player Ridley stage. on that stage. Come on. <laughs> yeah, definitely with the Delfino, Delfino bat. Uh Delfino, if they. If they like redo the water textures and whatnot, oh, oh, that'll look amazing. Did That's... you see the final destiny? Oh my god. Oh, so out of just seeing the new Smash Bros. footage, whatnot, who does everyone want to main? Who looks most appealing? Me personally, I, I'm Bayonetta is my girl, but of course I'm gonna have to stick with Ryu. Ryu looks like he got a bit of an overhaul in a sense. I mean, Ryu looks like he wants to kill someone. He would choke out a small child in a back alley without hesitation. Ryu. Not to mention, not to mention, they made him like face like always the opponent, so that makes the uh. Oh See, yeah, I, I don't command, know. the command input's like a lot easier. See, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna like that though, because what if like, what if that affects like doing a back air or whatnot? Like if, unless it's like only when you're on the ground or something, because that that's gonna be a, an interesting feature. If it is new type, who who do you want to main in this new Smash Bros. game? I gotta play my boys, Fox and Wolf. <laughs> really? I, I would have thought you would have said Snake, like without a doubt. And Snake. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, but you gotta let me build up to it. Oh, all, right, <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, yeah, you're right, you're right. I never, I never really use Snake that much in Brawl because I, I don't really know how to play him. But I might try, I might try to, because it's like he's a very technical character, so I, I might try to try to learn him in Smash Ultimate. But uh, as for like characters, I know I'm totally gonna main. Ganondorf has always been my man, so I'm always gonna go Ganondorf. And of course, you have to use Ganon the now, cannon. So. <laughs> um, and then I'm probably also try to because I'm I love playing as Wolf, so I'll probably play as him. I love playing as Roy, so I'll probably play as him. I'll probably play as half the roster, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Rob. Ganondorf, Ganondorf, and I mean, Mewtwo's really good too. Ah, oh, so many choices now. Uh, it's really hard to choose a main I'll, in this kind of game. I know, like I'll probably. Like I said, Bayonetta Gan is Gan my go-to when Wolf. I want to win. I'll say Gandorf and Wolf. For now. Alright, Souls, what about you? Uh, uh, like in every Smash, I'm probably going to use my main Sonic. And, you know, bust him with that Sonic speed! I used to love using Wolf. 
back and brawl, so I'm going to you say war. <laughs> Do you think anybody's going to main the Miis? <laughs> I mean, the Miis the were the banned from, are from competitive play. So, are you serious? Yeah, no, they've yeah, never been legal. It's the stupidest because, reason. No, it's because yeah. Miis rely on custom moves, and their custom moves in the scene were banned. Because, like, there was no like, surefire way to do, get them. Like, the original just set, moveset. It's not a problem at Yeah, all. no, the original moveset, that made them really bad. But now, no. are you going to be able to make your own Mii since the Mii versus is gone? I mean, like, did you say Mii versus gone? Oh, isn't it gone? Yeah, Mii versus gone, but that had nothing to do with the Mii's. Oh, the Mii's, oh, you just, yeah, because the Switch a has maker. a Mii Maker in the console itself. When you start, like, you can choose oh. to make a Mii for you. Like, Souls, you have a Switch. How do you not know this? I never really bothered with me. <laughs> Under the settings tab, there's there's the Mii Maker. Anyway, yeah, you'll probably still be able to because the whole point of the so, Mii is to be able to make characters, so if they take out that functionality, it'd be kind of weird. So the uh, the Mii's are being planned for online. They that. So, so real talk, legalize the Mii's because they're like they're like the elemental hero elemental hero Stratos of <laughs> of Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> they're banned for the stupidest reason. <laughs> I just think. Oh, and also, um, uh, I just want to throw in a link, guys. I, I feel like I, I used the Breath of the Wild link. Too. Oh yeah, true, true, true. But like, I feel because like, I'm pretty sure the reason Nintendo gave for not legalizing the Mii's online in Smash Forwards is like we were we were afraid there'd be too many dick butts online. So, <laughs> we, so we said. Well, no I mean, the now they're now they're making it online, so now they don't have. Fix, but do you guys think custom moves are coming back? Because if we look at like, because for example, like Palutena's move set now, like a lot of her custom moves have been worked into her base move set. So I don't think custom moves are coming back. Uh, I don't think so, but if it did, I'd be actually kind of surprised. Oh my gosh, can you imagine custom movesets on Ridley? <laughs> on Bayonetta? Oh, oh, longer witch time? Oh! So can, we, can we talk about Ice Climbers? <laughs> oh yeah, you're, I completely <laughs> forgot the Ice Climbers were here! <laughs> <laughs> the ice Climbers. Oh, you, did you see Ice Climbers? They freeze you faster. Oh, they freeze you faster now? Is this because oh, they God. both shoot in one uh, ice in one direction? Both oh yeah, directions. that's was, right. Was there was there front air always like a spike? Yeah, I thought that was new. That's always been. A spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, is. It's, it's just in melee, the the hitbox was a little smaller. In brawl, was pretty easy to hit, but this game looks ridiculous. Hey, my man, Doctor Mario spike. Oh, yeah. true. It looks so good. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor Mario looks like out. Luigi's down air. It looks like they but, like, retouched up Doctor Mario. And I love it as a Doctor Mario main. I think I'm Count Falcons, not Luigi's. All right, so knowing that Sakurai has already brought back everyone to the roster, who else can he possibly add that would have like that impact that Cloud and Ridley had? Like, Kumar. of course, of Crash course, Bandicoot. I'm gonna say, I don't, see, I don't know because Crash Bandicoot, I feel like Crash Bandicoot still would have an input to say like Cloud, but I'm gonna say like the big, big elephant in the room would have to be Master Chief. That's literally the only other gun they have, <laughs> and I'm being serious too. I think Master, they have Snake in the game. I feel like Master Chief isn't too far off. It's not so. It's not. But so how much. would he fight? I feel like he'd fight exactly like he, like, like Echo Master Fighter. Chief would Master Chief. Oh. Master Chief would be Echo Fighter Samus. <laughs> no, because I mean, keep that, cause I feel like maybe Master Chief could have like he could have like a bigger Is jump. Mas Master Chief could probably have like for his recovery, he could have like a Spartan jump. Final no, Smash. He's gonna have like a, a grenade jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but no, like also, nail y'all, nail y'all some like PlayStation All. He's, he's, about the bomb, he's about the bomb jump. Stop. His ultimate is like setting off a yo, fucking halo, yo. killing everybody. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Drake and Smash. Okay, oh no, my god. <laughs> Seriously, no. I feel like I feel like he could have like an energy sword in his move set. He might have Maybe. like for like he might have like a pistol for an. Are Another they allowed to have user. guns? In the, is this game T for T? Do we have rating yet? No, no. Because yeah, Bayonetta no is in it now. Yeah, blasters. blasters. <laughs> Obviously, it will be. <laughs> I mean, because does, it's, it's gonna be the energy blaster. They have snake and yeah. bayonet in this game. There's no way it's gonna be E for everyone. Oh yeah, she does have guns. Well, hers oh, is yeah. heels. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, um, I don't. Okay, I don't know if this would be, have a big enough impact, but I think Dante from Bell May Cry would be an interesting. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, that would be crazy. Uh, have him fight bayonetta. Oh, that would be crazy. Oh, oh yes. Yes. No. Oh, you know what? We gotta make and I know, you know, I know we say this a lot, but a lot of us are serious on this. But they gotta do it. A lot of the, enough people been asking. Kid Goku. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I still feel like Sock Sock because I feel like if Sakurai adds one anime character, the entire fan base is gonna be like, add this one, add this one, add this one, add this yeah, one. Yeah, I think they're gonna do that. I feel like Go no, Goku's one of those ones that's probably still barred pretty heavily. They can add Sora from Kingdom Hearts. It was like his OG Sora. Oh, the red pants one. Yeah. I wonder what they do, Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, or what they do, Kingdom Hearts 2, or what they do even... I feel like they do once, because they always go OG, like, OG Mega Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. but Mega costumes. Man. You know, he'd have, a lot, he'd have a lot of costumes. Yes, he would. You're not wrong. And all, I imagine all his costumes would be based on the dry forms. 
probably. Yes. I wouldn't yeah. mind the dream job distance version. Like him doing flow motion and throwing pets at you. <laughs> dream eaters. Now, <laughs> do you guys think his final smash would be a summon? Because if he did a summon, that'd be like a no. Disney character. No, he's gonna do like a Trinity attack with Donald and Goofy. Yeah. yeah. But like also, a Trinity. have you either seen that or Donald and Goofy or show up? Or... So it'd probably be like a split fast combo, zero death. Goofy's gonna mess you up. And, uh... Or or they could, I mean, this would be kind of lame, but they could do Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, mm. they could do that. Yeah. All right. Moving on to one of our last topics. One character you guys still want in the game. For me, it was going to be Rodan, but Rodan got deconfirmed via the assist trophy. Not going to lie, my reaction, I kind of popped off there, and then I found out he was an assist trophy, and that was a boner killer. But right now, not going to lie, even if he was an echo fighter, I would still want him Shadow the Hedgehog. I feel like he is most likely right now. His assist trophy has been absent. I feel like it's, it's got to happen. Shadow, please. Please. Or even just Shadow the Hedgehog music with a Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. Oh! Alright, new type, here we go. Shadow the Hedgehog Mead costume. Stop that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go ahead. Anyway, I think they already confirmed that Crystal's uh, She's a assist trophy, trophy yeah, so I'm like, there's that. So, uh, probably like Spyro or Crash, honestly. I wouldn't mind that. I feel like Spyro would be better than Crash, because Crash is kind of strange, but I feel like Spyro is also better. <laughs> Crash is strange! <laughs> yeah, What's so wrong? He's from the Insane Trilogy, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, not that one. <laughs> What are you for Um Well, for a well, it's, I guess it's technically the first party to be second party, but that's basically the same thing. Um, I want to see Isaac from Golden Sun, and for a third party character, I would probably want to see Spyro, and um, him utilizes different elements, you know, the fire, the earth, all that. Uh, of course, Earth will be the most broken because it always is. And but I, and I haven't played Devil May Cry, but after talking about Dante versus Bayonetta, put Dante in the game, please. Maybe even maybe even a Devil May Cry 5 one. Put Nero in. <laughs> Put Nero in. I but they probably be like the original. <laughs> All right, so what about you? Um, I'm surprised he hasn't been in the game yet. I don't know if it's because the game didn't do too well, and that's Wonder Red. Like, he'd be, be, be a really cool character to see in that. And then his ultimate smash would be like a bunch of like Wonder Woman, wonderful yeah. one people just like <laughs> fucking dog pile, making like a sword or a fist or a whatever the heck. Every single one of them punches you in the face. <laughs> oh. There's nothing left by the end of it. And his uh, color swap would be just all the different ones, like the blue one, the green one. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I think that'd be a fun addition. Yeah. All right. And closing our discussion, did you guys think Nintendo's E3 suffered because they only showed Smash, or do you think that that was, that was okay because they showed enough besides Smash to where it was a substantial? Well, I think literally, myself included, everyone was watching E3 for Smash. In my opinion, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, I mean, half the conference was Smash, but I, I wish they did show a little bit more of other games. But yeah, I think it suffered a little bit, but not enough to be like their entire thing was bad. Because there are some those people that say I don't care for Smash. I mean, it kind of saved their conference to be honest. If they they weren't going to show Metroid or Animal Crossing or anything like that, you know, any other kind of big gun. I think you know Smash Switch. Uh, well, Smash Switch. I can't say that anymore. Smash Ultimate. Um. I think that kind of saved their conference, to be honest. Was there anything else you guys wanted to touch on before we close our discussion? I just want to say this. Okay. So, the best thing, my, my favorite thing about the entire game so far is the fact that you can turn off stage hazards. Oh, that makes, I forgot like, about that. Every yeah. single stage legal, and I love that. It makes, like, it makes from front, because, like, real talk, I mean, if you look at these, all these stages up here, uh, probably five of them are legal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to say like, seventy-five stages. Probably five of them are like legal. Well, they all but have Battlefield and Final Destination variants now. But with state, but they, you know, but you know, like we're still fun at that. But like, you know, they're gonna <laughs> ban that competitive scene because like they ban Omega forms because it's really stupid. So that didn't make any sense why they did that. But so they'll probably do the same thing in Battlefield. But um, but like if you turn off stage hazards, a lot of these stages become legal. Ah, oh, they're so good. There'll actually be like diversity in the competitive scene now. <laughs> It won't just be Final Destiny. Even though I gotta be honest, every time I played online, I only pick Omega. Or not even online, only uh, with my brother or something. I only pick Omega. Yo, Where's I wonder. I wonder, I wonder what <laughs> like. I wonder what the way it considers a stage hazard. Like, if like, can I turn off like the water and jungle japes? Can we legalize jungle japes? <laughs> I don't think that. I don't think that's. I think hazards, for example, would be like all like the moving platforms and stuff. Well, I, I don't even think like uh, moving platforms. I mean like the yellow devil, like turning off bosses. And like why? Because the yellow devil literally off. killed Wily's castle. I and just like, forgot. And like Castle Siege, it wouldn't transform, I guess. Yeah, something like that. I just forgot. Uh, how how is it? How is it that the arms characters has any? 
Okay, souls. Right. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that, right? They'll get a me <laughs> costume. That'll be it. They're not gonna. They're no, not gonna come no. I need. Look at the inklings. Look I need the... spring man, and I need the bay. Uh, 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 what's her name? What you need is to sit down. All right. This is no, get these arms the one characters. That stops time. <laughs> Get these arms characters away from my kid. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, you mind though. Splatoon 2 had just come out like around the time Smash 4 had come out. People were like, inkling, 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 and we just got it in Smash 5. So you're gonna have to give it a minute. It'll probably be DLC. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be DLC. Or if it's not announced in the main, you know, the main game before it's uh, released. Can't wait for Five, that. Me. Five ninety nine, boys. Five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be cloud all over again. Uh, Smash is like the only game about every DLC. So, including, cool. including the me costumes, <laughs> <That'd be solid. laughs> I'm just saying this Smash Bros. game, if it does your DLC, better have a season pass. Yeah, I mean, I don't think these characters are all playing. <laughs> I, guess I think right. they, they've been. I think they're always doing like they poll go. to see what people want. Yeah, yeah Smash Ballot. Yeah, they could do Smash Ballot again. That'd be interesting. Sucker is like, you only have five requests left. Make it count. <laughs> I wonder if this time they'll like give a Shrek. <laughs> no, like, he was on the game. He had a GameCube like, fighting game. But like, um, I wonder if like Smash Bros. can like fully like open this time, or if like Sakurai is gonna like give us like Twin Tail. That's her name. Like, okay. if, if Sakurai is <laughs> gonna give us like maybe like, like give us like a list of, like fifty characters that he might you know consider adding, and you you like pick and vote or something. I think that'd be fair. So that would make you can know. Can you imagine though when people when people go to look at the poll? Paul, Paul, Luigi and. Can you imagine though people, if people go to look at that poll? And then they're like, oh, hey, look, these characters are on the poll. And then, like, when, the, when their character doesn't win the poll or something, like, ha the betrayal that they would feel when they, they know their character had that chance. Yeah, it's all fair game. <laughs> it's all fair game, he says. <laughs> Either way, though, we're going to get out of here now. It has been fun. Shout out to everyone that came through. If you guys were interested in listening to our take on E3 2018, we just did a follow-up discussion to that over on Bow's channel. Link to that video in the description. New type, where can they find you at? They can find me at Revolving Bunker on Twitter and Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to follow that Tumblr, though. Photon, hey. where can they find you at? My YouTube channel with the same name, Photon Blaze. And Souls? At Souls Zero Souls on Twitter and at Souls on YouTube. And I'm going to come back to YouTube, but just to get my setup right. <laughs> All right, link to their channels and Twitters and Tumblrs will be in the hey. description below, if I remember that is. Shout out to everyone that came out for this, though. I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Bruh.